So hello, John. It's very nice to have you. Thank you so much for having me on. And our honored guest today is John Nose. And I hope I'm pronouncing your surname well, because it's a, for me, it's a difficult to pronounce, uh, pronounce foreign names. You're doing, you're doing a good job. There's an accent doa over my E. It makes me taller. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this brings me to my first question, which I haven't prepared for. Uh, where do you come from originally? St. Louis, Missouri in the United mm -hmm. States. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And uh, what could you introduce yourself briefly to our audience? What do you do for a living? So I'm, I'm a podcaster. That's what I do for a living. I, I, I host a podcast. It's about Magic the Gathering, a yeah. collectible card game. Yes. And uh, do you remember the times when you started, when you see the, saw the magic for the first time? Do you remember those times? Can you share with us a little bit? What, when I started my podcast? When you started Magic, with Magic the Gathering. Oh, wow. Yeah, back in 1993. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So back in 1993 is when I started the game. And then I think in 2007, I started realizing you can make a lot of money with this game. Yeah. And then I think it was 2020. Yeah, 2020, I started the podcast mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I want to help people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what is the what is the uh, the the first uh, story that you have with Magic the Gathering? The first uh, first like uh, if you want to share some interesting stories from the past. Uh, could you remember any interesting events or uh, or yeah, something that you are proud of that you are uh, that you are uh, uh, grateful for in the past with Magic? Yeah, um, I remember going to a, a tournament, and you had to pay fifty dollars to enter the tournament, and I got to the top eight players, yeah. and that was a big deal. And as long as you made it to the top eight players, you were guaranteed a prize money. And I can't remember what the prize money was. This was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And it's what propelled me into keep playing this game, not for the mon monetary value, mm -hmm. but for what I was learning and how I was able to teach other people mm -hmm. and help them with this game they have so much passion for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you remember which edition was it back then? I'm sorry? Do you remember which which edition of Magic was this but back then in the oh, Yeah, um during that time it was uh Laurelwind, Shadowmore, Eventide, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um Morning Tide. And yeah. they started coming out with another set called uh Shards of Alara. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Uh, Laura Reborn and Conflux. Yes, yes. I so remember those time. times. I remember those. Okay. Yeah. And uh John, let's uh so let's go down now a little bit to business because my podcasts are sometimes a little bit business oriented. So mm -hmm. tell me, which, which projects are you working on at the moment concerning uh, your job? It's so, like yeah, so it's, like, it's a great question. Since I started doing this, I thought making a podcast, that's all it was going to be. And then I learned real quick, you have to think outside the box. You have to market. You have to edit. You have to distribute, you know, you got to be all these people in one, you know, so I'm, I'm working on other projects. One of them is called MTG Roundtable. Mm -hmm. So every Thursday, which today is Thursday, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> every Thursday, we, uh, me and my, me and my friend Russell over on uh, his YouTube channel, Mr. DJ Longhair, we put together a show called MTG Roundtable, mm -hmm. where we get Magic the Gathering artists, yeah. we get um, people that work, you know, with, you know, outside and inside, mm -hmm. you know, I would say in market and out of market. And it's, we have a blast, man. Uh, it's no holds barred. It's not scripted. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, that's part of the fun over there on that channel. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm teaming up with other people too. As far as project, I just can't let them out of the bag until it's official, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, but like you said, you almost have to work on other projects, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And definitely, if you if it, this is interesting for you, just uh, for our audience, just go down under this video, write to John. He will be more than happy to answer all your questions. He will be more than happy to invite you to his events. And this brings me to the, my uh, next question. What, uh, what plans do you have for the future? What visions, what plans? Uh, can you invite us for some of, your, uh, some of your podcasts for the future? Or can you also invite us for our, your 
fast boat podcast. What can you recommend? Well, um, can I? Well, uh, I'm, I almost have mixed thoughts there when when you ask the question. I almost want you to repeat the question. Yes, if you can invite us to some of your podcasts, uh, where would that be? Oh, how can you find the podcast? Yes, yes, exactly. Uh huh. Yes. So you can you can find the podcast anywhere you get podcasts: iHeartRadio, iTunes, yeah. uh, Spotify, anywhere you get podcasts. When I started doing the podcast, uh, the 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 company I was working with was Anchor, yeah. and they would distribute it to certain platforms like iTunes and iHeart. Um, I had to do the majority of it manually, mm -hmm. and I, I did not stop for weeks until it got out there in all these platforms. So mm -hmm. it's pretty much where you get a podcast, you can find it. I've got it on Spreaker, Listen Notes, Radio Public, you name it, it's mm -hmm. on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, John, do you have any plans for the future? Uh, any special plans in your head? Yes. So I want to do it. I want to develop a cartoon. Mm -hmm. for magic the gathering um it's not for magic the gathering it's more or less just to draw people to my content uh me and my friend are thinking about doing a, a fantasy realm mm -hmm. where where it's just a character called the cryptic commander in a in a magic the gathering realm where none of these characters are really important because i don't want to get sued or anything you know but um i think it would be fun and draw attention to my channel you know mm -hmm. we're working on it behind the scenes just drawing a cartoon and seeing where it goes you know yes my next question what what about your hobbies uh do that do your hobbies uh, is your work or do you have uh, hobbies different from your work uh, how do you how do you uh, how do you approach hobbies in your life there's not much time for them anymore but i love my hobbies uh i like the regular nintendo yeah so i grew up in the 80s yes i was yes. i was born in 79 so uh, the yeah, regular me too. Nintendo. Me too, by the way. Me too. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Um. I I was gonna say uh, the regular Nintendo. We call it the NES. NES. Mm -hmm. That's my hobby. Mm -hmm. uh, our government gave us some stimulus money, mm -hmm. and I, I went out and modded my Nintendo to where it's upscaled to 60 frames per second, and mm -hmm. it plays on HDMI and stuff. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't make the games any better, but. <laughs> nice. Nice. It's nice. Yeah. So, uh, what yeah, I mean, final what final message would you give to our audience? Uh, some takeaway message, like if you wanted to leave. That's a good question because <clears throat> the the name of the podcast I'm I'm on is called the Cryptic Commander, and we stand by a mission statement, which is Magic: The Gathering is best with a communal experience, and a big part of that's when it stemmed from knowledge getting assistance where needed makes it a far more enjoyable game mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and when i when i started the game i had a lot of questions but i i wanted to know more about the game as i get older i'm 41 now i see more and more people jump into the game and they they have questions i see a lot of toxicity in in the community and if besides that i go over to my brother's house and i'm like wow you guys play magic the gathering and they're like, yeah, and then they're playing it wrong. And I try to help them when I come over and they bust out their cards. They're like, oh, John always wins. John always wins. Mm -hmm. No, they're thinking I'm bending the rules and such. It, mm -hmm. It's the thing is, is if everybody was on the same level and you understand what in response means and you understand what this means, and you understand I can redirect this and you can understand how the blocking works and all these mechanics of, let's face it, the world's most complicated game, then if we're all on the same playing field then there's a better chance that there's it's a it's a better experience mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it makes it more enjoyable mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that's the basis i start the podcast over and it's become the mission statement and that's what we that's what we stand by you know so mm -hmm. if anything i could give to your listeners to take away from this episode would be i was raised to do unto others as you do unto them mm -hmm. and to give back and that's just that's just the way I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm not in this game for, you know, popularity or money. Sure, some of that can come along with it. And I'm trying to stay humble with all of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when I get reminded on a daily basis from all the fans, thank you so much for what you're doing. 
it, it pushes me forward more to keep doing what I'm doing mm -hmm. and think about from a new player's perspective or even going through my life. Oh, I remember when I learned this and how it took me five months to learn what in response means, mm -hmm. you know, how can I break this down to people? Cause I know there's people out there struggling with these issues and it's just a card game. I understand, but I mean, like, like I said, it's a very good question. It's a very good question. And if anybody could take anything away from it, it's just help your fellow neighbor out. Yeah. And thank you very much, John. I wish you all the best, good health and uh, good fun and with, with the game. And uh, our uh, good guest today was John Osei and uh, with his Cryptic Commander uh, podcast. Thank you very much. Bye.